In this video, I finally finished my Slaughterhouse remake. But before the video starts, please consider subscribing. It means a lot and it really helps with the channel. And with that being said, enjoy the final part of this amazing series. We're gonna finish this level today. So basically we got everything this way is finished. And then we got this part to decorate, and then this cube, and then the end screen. We gotta come up with a block design. So first, let's get an outline. And then we need a base behind it. So we're gonna grab these objects. So I kinda wanna use these objects, cause it was, um... It was in the original Slaughterhouse for this part. And I think it'll just look cool, because it's like like referencing the old one by using these objects and then putting them on no opacity but then like a glow it completely gets rid of the outline but then just keeps the glow so it's really easy to do like diagonal structures like this so this is what we're working with so far in the middle i want to grab these objects and then put it on like this kind of like this but then like do this and then put these things on it yeah i want to put some glow on this too and i want to make the hue like minus 10 and then, here, I want to add some, I need to make some pulsing as well. I'll make it like, every three. And then now we just gotta copy and paste this in places it needs to be. Make some saw blades. So first, uh, I want to use these ones. Start doing something like this. And then grab a big glow, put it on P1. And then, here, I want to try something new. Ooh, I could add, like, vines, like, as a background. Just thought of that right now. That might look good. You know, it doesn't look that bad. i just put that in place as it needs to be. Alright, here, let's work on the thing now. Copy and paste this. Basically, just copy and pasting all this stuff from the slope objects into this. Mm, what should we do for these ones, though? Cause I don't know how I can put that in there. Like, what if we use something like this? Okay, then we gotta make a spike design. I honestly kind of want to use the one I used here. I feel like this one would fit this part, like, perfectly. Yeah, and it also pulses as well, so it's good. Here, how does this look so far? It's definitely not my best work, but it's it's definitely decent. Then I think we just do the same thing, but for, like, these structures. Okay, so now I gotta just do these. Here, we can just make one and copy and paste it everywhere, so. Copy and paste. What should I do for this part, bro? I don't know. Maybe we can use this. What if we did something like this? And then for this, we can like grab this, do this, but then like turn the brightness down to like minus 20. Oh, maybe even like minus like 40. Yes, that doesn't look that bad. I actually kind of like that, bro. What the heck? That doesn't look that bad. So everything's decoed besides this first part, so I'll just go do that real quick. Well, I have so many good effects I can go with this. <laughs> Alright, everything's perfect. Now I'm just gonna start on the other stuff. What I wanted to do was grab this glow, put this T3 like a hundred, put this like that behind it. Now here, I wanna do this. Hold up. Get like an alpha pulse for like 243 and 244, but like the opposite though. Yeah, so my main goals have this like dark and secluded in its area. So like it's kinda it kinda like it's like a cave feel to it, if you know what I mean. I wanna make some sort of vines, kind of. And then here we can use like this object for like spikes. Basically, I want some vines going over and under. And the background's still empty, so we're gonna have to add some stuff as well. Okay. 
Okay, that looks good. That looks good. I do like the vines a lot, actually. It's just the background and then some foreground. Uh, it just feels really empty and lacking of like a bunch of stuff. And grab this. This is gonna save our lives, bro. For like background. And some of them can be on like that, but then like turn the brightness really low. Do I add this? I don't want to add the stars though. It's like it's been overused way too much like in this, throughout this whole level. I feel like using that would just like make it bad. Here, we might just, I might just do something like this. Ooh, 10 seems like a bit much. Yeah, we'll do 5, we'll do 5. How does this look so far? It definitely feels a little bit um, messy, but like I kind of like it because it's just like it it is look it's messy but also clean at the same time. I'm pretty sure I could just copy and paste this and put it at the top. I think it'll look a lot better because we actually have the foreground in. Bro, that looks sick. Okay, all it's missing now is arrows, and then after that, bro, I think this is perfect. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab this object right here. I'm just gonna make some like really decorated arrows. Oh, let's go on this and then put like black glow behind it. I also wanna do something with the portals as well. So grab all of these. Okay, first we'll make anything that's overlapping invisible. And then just make like a huge glow thing. Bro, this looks sick. Hold up, it's definitely lacking something though. Right here is way too empty. I gotta put some texture on the background because it just feels way too plain. Like maybe even just something like this where like, I just grab this, but then like I wanna kinda like add like a fading. All right, this might be it for this part. So yeah, we're like super close to finishing this. So, first things first, we gotta put the stars for like, the parts. Cause, uh, I removed the other ones cause they were like completely unoptimized. We're gonna use this object. There we go, okay. Now those are stars. So then we're gonna need to make some sort of glow. Scale it up, put one here like this. Like, just kinda like, mix it in kinda. And then put this on like a blending. And then grab the stars, and then make this as small as possible. And then grab the stars, do like this, this. Yeah, kind of like, that's perfect, actually. And we just keep copy and pasting it like this. And so what we can also do is grab these two, flip it, put it like right here, and just put it on like three, and then do the same thing, but then put it on four, and like, kind of like fade it. Go here, I'll start on whatever this layer is on. Uh, pulse. I want to pulse all these colors. It's three, four, seven, and eight. And like a pulsing chain kind of like this. Kind of like that. So let's make new color 13, like just like that. T3, 10. Wait, we just put that on one actually. Like this. You can copy that and paste it to something like this, like a huge one. And then put the huge one on like three. Let's do the same thing with this, but 13. But here, we're gonna put it on low opacity though. Ooh, that actually gives me this. I like, I really like the red on those. Yo, that actually might be a really good idea. So we'll go to 251 now. This is my other idea I had. So basically we just grab all this, kind of do like something like this. Some like three. And then grab the small ones like this. Put this on two. Grab all of this, put it on black, T3, 10, like that. And like we make it move across the screen. 254, minus 1000, to 1000, like this. This is sick. And we just did the same thing for this part. Now, but this part's sick though. I really like the darkness effect and like the red. Like, actually looks awesome. Yes, bro. That's sick. That looks so good. Like, what the heck? That's actually dope. Like, dude, this. No, dude. I just. The, uh, the gray section is like a hundred times better now. That is perfect. And here, I'm gonna just copy and paste the ending. 
I want to copy and paste the ending. It's like the, the beginning to the end. And then I have a really good glitch effect I can do. First of all, I'm going to copy and paste this. Oh, shoot. I got to remove the groups. I almost forgot about that. Okay, so move triggers. That's what I got to do next. Okay, I'll put this on 125. This will be the glitchy one. I'll add X and Y like this. And 265 the same way. But then alpha 262 out and then 265 in. And then like all the moving ones will be glitching. <laughs> After hours of work and months of progress, I think the level is finally finished. So with that, enjoy the greatest showcase of all time. Before the video ends, I have a couple of announcements to make. For starters, if you want to play this level, the ID is on screen, feel free to play it. It's pretty fun and it will be verified very shortly. Next, we now have members on the channel, so if you want to show your support, feel free to become a member. There are three levels which give amazing perks such as seeing a level early and before they're posted and much more. So if you're interested, press the join button next to my channel or go to the description of this video for more information. And last but not least, I'm sorry for not posting for all this time. This level has been a pain in the butt to make because of how much stuff it needed to be done. Lots of parts need to be rebooted and like overall the level just needed a remake. 